Hi, it's Tina Polish, your functional health coach here. Let's talk about three steps to protect your liver and kidneys when detoxing from mold illness today. When healing from mold illness, follow these three steps and several tips to clear up your drainage system first so that your body can get rid of those mold mycotoxins in it and begin to heal. You will find these steps quite easy if done in the right order. Step one is clearing up your colon. If it's not working and open well, then your lymphatic system won't be able to drain right either. When your colon and lymphatic systems aren't functioning right, your skin, kidneys, and lungs work to pick up the slack, which can bring rashes, respiratory disease, and possible damage to your kidneys and liver. Once you have your colon working well, you must then make sure that your liver and gallbladder can, can do their jobs. These organs work hard for you. When you eat, they both excrete bile, which, pushes, which is pushed into your gut to help protect it, while serving as a laxative too. Your liver is your main detoxification organ, however. Your body typically deposits toxins into your blood to be removed. It is your liver's job to clean your blood, and it is your job to, keep your, uh, to give your liver the nutrients it needs to help you detoxify. Especially when overcoming mold illness, you want to reduce the toxic load that you are asking those organs to deal with. First, stay away from exposure to more mold mycotoxins, plastic, and chemicals. Next, avoid or limit foods that are toxic to you and foods that feed the fungus in your body, such as sugar or carbs. Instead, consume more fiber and water, which will help with your elimination and detoxification process. These will greatly decrease the toxic load on your liver. Next, protect your liver from the toxins it eliminates. A combination of organic herbs can provide this protection. For example, milk thistle protects the cells of the liver while different bitters help flush the toxins out of it. How to use bitters. Bitters include dandelion root, gentian, golden seal, and chicory. You can find many preparations available such as Swedish bitters. Take them about 20 minutes before meals and eat high fiber vegetables such as broccoli, asparagus, spinach, zucchini, avocados, cauliflower, or root vegetables first. And then as you eat your other foods, the high fiber foods will catch the toxins and allow your liver and gallbladder to flush them out. You could also take the bitters about 20 minutes before bed, along with a binder such as a good clean zeolite, since your liver does most of its work while you sleep. When at my worst with, with mold illness, I was constipated but going pee all the time because my kidneys were taking up the slack in my body's elimination process. This took a toll on my kidneys. Under normal circumstances, this toll would not be a problem because our Creator made us fearfully and wonderfully. But in mold illness, the mycotoxins create such havoc that we can't efficiently eradicate these toxins, and then we can't heal because the damage done to our organs. So first, to support your kidneys, drink enough water. Water is essential in all of your detoxification pathways. Drink half your body weight in ounces of good, clean water every day and more if you're sweating. Take herbs that support your kidneys, such as marshmallow root, parsley, colonsonia root, uva ursi, and hydrangea pinniculate. These herbs can protect your kidney and support elimination flow. These herbs also help close up your gut which is important since mold illness almost always brings leaky gut into the picture. Consider taking NAC or N-acetylcysteine. This amino acid that helps protect your liver and produces glutathione aiding with many facets of detoxification. So in summary, to get rid of mold and mycotoxins in your body, you must make sure that your detox pathways are open and working. 
Then protect your organs from further exposure to toxins while feeding and hydrating your body well. If you've been dealing with a mysterious illness and want to regain your strength and energy so that you can live a purposeful life again, make sure that you schedule a complimentary breakthrough call with me today. You will find that link at the bottom of this article. Thanks. Bye.